this just wasn't any other conference? What if this just wasn't a few random days you've been dragged away to listen to someone who the bishop says is wonderful talk to you? But what if this was actually something so significant for Portsmouth? What if this broke a glass ceiling in your diocesan life? What if this united you in a way across your churchmanship, across your views on sexuality? What the New Testament shows us is that Jesus was born in the most unexpected of places. And that's where we need to be too. So my question, not answer, my question, is what are the needs of the streets where you work? What are they? If you could gather together a hundred people who live in your area, in your parish, who've never been to your church, maybe you should do that actually, and say, what is going on here? What, what does this community need? What would it be? And how can you as a church begin to speak into that? As I look at you, I think you're amazing. You have given yourself to God's church and his mission. Think of the other things you could have done with your lives. But you've with faithfulness and devotion to the Lord taken this calling. Jesus Christ turned this planet upside down with 12 people who were thick, crass, stupid and ignorant. Us Anglicans will fit in just fine. <laughs> But 12 people who gave Jesus their all, who naively believed he could use them to change the world. And he did. My prayer is that God would do it again. And with us, more than 12 of us, that Jesus Christ would turn the city of Portsmouth and the Isle of Wight and all the surrounding areas upside down. gentleness of the Spirit lead us. May the gifts of the Spirit equip us to serve and worship God and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit.
be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.